Welcome to Movie Mayhem here at Suspiria Works Cinema where we watch all the movies. Today we're doing another Jean-Claude movie by request. Uh, Slinger, aka Cyborg. So, uh, I'm sure most of you have seen this movie as Cyborg. Uh, some of you might have downloaded the renegade cut of Cyborg, which is Slinger. This one, Slinger, the original title. So, I'm going to discuss the releases first and we'll explain the difference here. Uh, Slinger is, uh, this is a German release, it is region free, uh, it's, and Cyborg is going to be the uh, standard cut. This is the one most people have seen. Cyborg was, um, Albert Pan was fired during the editing of the movie, and uh, test screenings went really bad apparently, so Jean-Claude offered to come in and recut the movie. Cyborg is Jean-Claude's cut. Which is also has uh, several MPAA cuts because, again, this is late 80s when the MPAA, well, and 90, 90s too, when the MPAA ruled with an iron fist doing their bullshit movie cutting. Um, but, and, and this version is completely uncut. However, we're going to talk about the quality here. This looks fine. This is great for an 80s movie. Good transfer. This, um, so, at first I would like to say I really appreciate this existing. I would have, um, this should have been, in my opinion, a box set which contained Van Damme's version and this is an extra. The problem is the only version of Payun's original cut is from a Telecine version and it, it's rough. I mean, I, and I've watched stuff like that before, which is fine, but the problem is you've got the really pretty, like, the scenes they could use from Van Damme's cut are in here. And the scenes that didn't exist in Van Damme's cut are then spliced in, but they're the Telesin version. So imagine watching a 20-year-old videotape or 30-year-old videotape cut in between scenes of a Blu-ray. It's hard to watch. It's really hard to watch. Um, I, I mean, I watched it just... To watch it the whole thing and enjoy it but it's very disconcerting to watch as a film it, the, the quality jumps will drive you crazy now uh Pion's version is much darker uh i i, I kind of prefer the score it reminds me more of like a carpenter score and i prefer the darker tone you have a lot more uh, character depth in this version uh but then again van damme's cut is more of a straight up action movie. And it's kind of more like when I see when I see this cover and I see Van Damme doing Cyborg, I expect to see some just ass kicking and some cool stuff. And this is what you're gonna get with this movie. Pion tried to do a much more, um, a, a deeper, more a little more cerebral movie, more emotional movie. Uh, it, it does work. Um, there are some funny cuts, which stuff I thought in, in Van Damme's, I thought it was just because of the editing or maybe the MPA trend stuff. But they're in here too, so I'm not sure what was going on there. It looks like maybe there was just some some bad editing at some point. And I know Pion didn't have access to the original elements when he did this, so that's okay. Uh, which do I prefer? Obviously, if you're just going to sit down and watch the movie, it, it has to be this version simply because it looks so much better and it, it doesn't have that annoying jerky jump to it uh, that this does. I... Cyborg is more straightforward. Slinger is more... Feels like an indie sci-fi film. It really does. And it works on that that level. I, I think if you're a Van Damme fan, it's definitely worth watching both just to kind of get feel the two together because they're very different films when watched that way. Like I said, this comes off as more of an indie sci-fi thinking movie to an extent. And this is more of a straight-up Van Damme just kicking people's ass movie, which is fine. Um... Although this also has the end where they're uh, promoing some sequel to it that I guess they want to make. Maybe they're going to try to get funding for it. I don't know. I didn't really understand what that was. Um, you know, so in the end, they both have their merits. As a single watching experience, I have to give it to Van Damme's version. And, and now, I stand by my statement. The director's version should be the only version. It really should. If this was in the full clean version and it bombed at the test screenings like supposedly it did supposedly it did terrible test screenings which i think are stupid anyway well that's fine then release the movie as pion intended it and then don't give the guy a, 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 the next job with your studio if it does bad at the box office but let the man have his vision it's it's you know these guys a director 
a director isn't like a producer that maybe works on 50 films a year or anything like that. A director is, you know, they invest their heart and soul in most movies. Um, even a Mate puts a lot of effort into his garbage that he made. And, you know, I imagine it, it must be heartbreaking for somebody like Pion to see, you know, when he gets his movie just butchered up, especially by his lead star um, that, you know, he agreed to work with even though he didn't want to. And at the time, Jean-Claude wasn't that big yet. You know, he, he wasn't like the big action draw. And, and, you know, so he was already probably disappointed in his lead actor to begin with. And, and then all of a sudden he comes in and he chops his movie up. I, I'm sure it was horrible. It's like having, you know, your child mutilated in front of you. So I believe this had the potential to be a better movie. The only problem is the version is very difficult to watch. Um, I, I do like the tone more and I like the, the depth of the character. So it, it is worth checking this out just to get an idea of... of how different movies can look when they're just cut differently. So I think that's kind of a cool little experiment to do as far as filmmaking. Um, now, do I like Cyborg? Yes, I, I like Cyborg, but I like <laughs> I like everything Jean Claude does. It's always entertaining. Um, and, and this, uh, you know, this it's cool that this is in Blu-ray, but they really should have had the full version in here, the um, the full Blu-ray version in here as well, just because otherwise you. This ends up being a collector-only item. And Slinger. The title Slinger, Cyborg is probably a better title, I agree, because what the hell's a Slinger? Makes sense in context of the film, but when you're marketing a movie, nobody knows what a Slinger is. Um, so, yeah, you know, if you're going to pick this up, if you're only going to buy one, of course, buy the regular old Cyborg. It's a, it's a decent transfer, you know, for an 80s flick. It looks good. Um, but if you want the complete package, get both, like I did, and you'll dig them. So... I hope you liked the review. Let me know what you think of Cyborg. If you've seen both versions, I'm really curious what uh, your all's opinions are between the two. And let me know anything else you want to see. We'll see you here next time at Movie Mayhem.